Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Classic with the Halloween 2021 event. Uh, we're gonna try and finish up the uh, mission along with getting some better scores on our werewolves. Hopefully we can do decent today. We uh, didn't get anything crazy huge last time. We found one golden and a couple albino, but we didn't get any uh, super high scoring werewolves. So I'm kind of hoping today we can get something that's like 360 plus and then also hopefully complete this mission with the last couple remaining skulls that we need. So I guess without further ado, let's uh, get straight to it. Well, it sounds like there's one straight up ahead. And I heard another one call from behind. So, there very well could be one coming up behind us. And if uh, nothing else, there's at least one in front of us. Well, here goes nothing. Let's uh, see if we can get this thing down. There we go. Well, I think that was the only one that's going to come towards us. So, that is just a common female with a 249.60 score. Not too bad to start out with, I guess. Well, sounds like we got another one in front of us, so I guess uh, let round two commence now. And this has actually been going pretty good so far for the most part. I mean, both of them have ran straight head on towards us, and uh, that one's actually pretty good scoring for a female, so I mean, not too bad of a start to the day. Now, if only we can find a bunch of those skulls so that we can complete our mission. And also, I believe we need to identify a call from a werewolf, which will require us to um, go a little bit slower and not alert them to our presence. And then we also need to pick up a droppings track. So all in all, it's not going to be too difficult to get the last few objectives completed. I think the hardest thing is going to be finding the uh, Dia de Muertos skull. But uh, we'll find that with time. If I don't find it in this video, then we'll keep searching after until I end up finding it. All right, well, here comes another one, number three of the day. And once again, a female. We've been finding just a ton of female werewolves today. That's kind of crazy that all three of the ones that we have shot have been females. I don't think we had a start like this uh, last year at all, but both of the videos that we've done here uh, for the 2021 Halloween event, we've had nothing but females at the start. All right, let's get ourselves positioned. We just heard another one call off in the distance. I want to make sure I'm in a favorable spot. And it should be here any moment. Yeah, there it is. Finally, it took it a little bit longer than I was expecting. And there we go. A male is finally down with an estimate of 280 to 365. So hopefully it'll hit the high end of that estimate. And at 152, it uh, got 336. So it's a good one, but not huge. Well, that's pretty much directly in front of us, which is going to be a good thing for us because of the fact that we're not going to have to uh, account for some weird angle. At least we got a pretty straightaway shot at it through this road. So that's going to be pretty nice. Let's uh, just prepare for this because it's probably going to come over very shortly. Yeah, it definitely is. There it is. That is a monster right there. 310 to 390 on the estimate. Could this possibly be our best yet? I think it's about the same as the last one, actually. Yeah, 336.63. So not nearly as big as I was hoping, but it's still not a bad one either. Still a very good sized werewolf. There is a droppings track along with the call from another one. So we're about to have a little bit of company and we also got another objective completed. So we're doing pretty good today. I'm definitely enjoying this and uh, please don't charge while I grab this call for the mission. There we go. And here it comes. Nice. That was a gold one. So that went about as good as it could have gone. Uh, let's just make sure that the other one's not going to come running towards us. I think we should be okay though. Yeah, I think we're going to be good to claim this, so that's pretty awesome. We got a golden one. It's just a female, but it is a 279 female. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Well, as with a lot of the trophy shots here with the Halloween event, it's very difficult to get good lighting, so we're just going to go with this. I think it's probably the best we're going to get, and it honestly doesn't look too bad. Ooh, here we go. Uh, sounds like multiple are going to be running towards us very, very soon. 
And that was not what I wanted to do. That is a huge albino. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I whiffed that. Oh, you gotta be joking me. Uh oh, here we go. There we go, at least we got that giant. Uh, that's probably gonna be our best of the day. I'm kinda sad that albino ended up getting away, but oh my gosh, 384! That's huge! That is absolutely huge! So that's by far my best werewolf that I've ever killed throughout all of the Halloween events. That is such a crazy thing to get. That is amazing. I really like the way that looks right there. That is a pretty awesome trophy shot. Let's see if there's any of these that actually like make it easier to see. Ah, the chroma one's honestly really good for this. I've always thought the chroma's a great filter for low light scenarios and I'd say this is pretty good right here. So, although now that I think of it, I kind of want to offset this a little bit. Make it just a little bit better. Considering this is such a big one. There. That's probably better right there. So uh, we'll go with that and then do the chroma. Not bad. I'm happy with that. We're going to tax it because that is by far my biggest one ever. Absolute giant of a werewolf. Ooh, we got a double skulls right here. That's uh, awesome. Actually, a triple. <laughs> what is going on? That is a ton of them. And they're all in the same area. Well, we got the purple skull we needed. Now we just need the Dia de Muertos one. So we've pretty much completed the Halloween mission. We literally just have to get one more skull. Of course, it's the most difficult to get out of all of them. But I mean, that's pretty good. We're uh, making progress at least and we're tracking down this albino now. I'm really hoping it didn't go too far. I want to get another crack at it, but I just don't know if we're going to be able to find it. It's so hit or miss with the werewolves. Sometimes they'll come after you again, other times they won't. So I guess we will have to get lucky. Uh, let's hope that's him. I think it might be because that's its track right there. I'd say there's a decent chance it might be him. Oh yeah. Definitely the one that we wounded earlier. If this thing can break 360, it'll be my biggest albino. So let's uh, just do that real quick and 154, 340, I think that still is my biggest. I think my previous biggest uh, albino was like 330s, so that's definitely my best albino. So uh, just to give you guys an idea of how big these werewolves are, uh, this is what it looks like when I stand it up on its uh, hind legs. This is huge, like absolutely giant, and uh, if I can, oh okay, this is just... <laughs> This is great. I love it. That is about as good of a trophy shot as you could get, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. We are uh, holding the hand of a werewolf because why not, right? Might as well. And uh, Chroma, as always, that is a beautiful werewolf. Let's tax that. Actually, you know what? We'll sell it for now. I might tax it later if we don't get a bigger one, but just in case a bigger one comes along, I don't want to waste the money on taxing until uh, we're close to having no time left to tax it, I guess. So we'll let it sit for the next like 20 hours or so, and if I don't get anything better by then, then we'll tax that one. Let's uh, hope this one ends up being another albino. It uh, looks like it's just a common though. Yeah, definitely just a common and it's only a female. Uh, still another one down though. I just love hunting these things. They're so much fun and they give such good amounts of gems. I mean, this one right here is like a decent female and it gives 43 on the CSS score, which equates to about the same in gems, which is not bad at all. Like that's really good for the most part, especially since you can kill a lot of these things really quickly. It's great for cash. And as you guys can see, I've kind of just been following this road all the way up and because we've been following this road, we managed to bag a really good albino, a gold one, a, a smaller albino, I believe also. And then we got that giant 384. 
So it's been pretty good. I actually really like using this path. Uh, last video, we went kind of like down here and then this way and then up this path. But I kind of like this route better. It seems to be working out much better than the other. However, we're going to fast travel and try to look for that last skull we need for the mission and see if we can get it pretty quickly. Oh, no. Uh, that's from two different sides. I don't like the sound of that. Let's get to this road as quick as we can. I just want to find the Dia de Muertos skull. I didn't want two of you to chase after me at the same time while trying to find it. But that's what's happening, so... I guess we should get ready. Here we go. Number one. At least be a giant. Ah! Ah, <laughs> uh, there was three. So, so there wasn't two, there was three and that was our last bullet. <laughs> Ah, uh, that went terrible. Absolutely terrible, but there is one stuck, it sounds like. And it's free. Well, we got one at least. That, uh, went terribly. About as bad as it could have gone, and that's a tiny female as well, I think. Yeah, 239. Not very big. So this is about as optimal of a place to take one of these as there could possibly be. It's very flat and wide open. And we've got one coming towards us from this way. So, this should give us a really good angle to take it out from. And yeah, that worked out really well. Uh, once again, just a female, so it's not really anything too crazy. Uh, 119 kg, so not super bad though, 264. Well, time for a dreaded off-road encounter. We uh, don't necessarily like those, but that one is a giant. Oh my gosh, get back here. How did you not die? No. That's another big one. Max estimate of 380. Uh, we got vitals that just went over his head, I guess. That's unfortunate. That uh, is definitely a big one. Okay, so I've heard three call in a very short amount of time. I'm a little scared. I think one of them might be the one we wounded, though. Please be the one that we wounded. I uh, definitely wasn't. Definitely was not the same one. But here we go. Here goes nothing. Female. Should be one more. I think at least. Uh, let's just claim this one real quickly. We'll uh, get these out of the way. Not going to even worry about the scores on these because neither of them are going to be any better than what we've already got. Okay, that's got to be him. That has to be him. It's in the exact direction that we were tracking him. Oh, actually, he's dead over there. So this is a different one. Uh, that is our big guy, though, so we got to make sure we get over there to it. So we uh, hopefully can get this thing down quickly. Yeah, here he comes. Get on as flat of ground as we can. That is another huge one. 305 to 390. So we've got two massive werewolves down. Uh, let's hope they're as big as the others. This one definitely isn't. 324 for this guy. But this one could be pretty big as well. It maxed to 380. Let's hope we get lucky on it. And, uh... Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, please. Please don't destroy me. Please don't. 144, not a giant. So let, let's get out of here. Let's get back to the road. And just my luck, here we go. Not going to be able to get back there in time. And I couldn't even aim to it in time. Now both of those are gone, but two more called. <laughs> Let's just get back to the road. I'm not fighting them in the woods anymore. Oh no. The fact that we even got that is quite incredible. Uh, let's pick it up and get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Well, it's now time for the dreaded double field encounter. This is going to go terribly. I can already tell. I, I don't like this at all. <laughs> I really don't like this. Oh my gosh, it dipped down right as it attacked. Wow. <laughs> it hit a dip in the terrain. Right here. Right here. Oh, oh gosh, another one. 
And I I couldn't shoot. Um, I'm not sure why. Did I forget to? I forgot to put bullets in. <laughs> that would probably help, I imagine. Having bullets in your gun probably helps with shooting the werewolves. So at the time of recording this video, that big werewolf that we got is actually position number 16 on the leaderboards. Uh, by the time this video actually goes live, it'll probably be way pushed down there. But uh, considering this is the first day that the event has been going on uh, and this video is not set to go live for, I think, three or four days after this. But it's uh, currently in 16th place. So, I mean, I'll take that. That's super awesome. We got a really high scoring, uh, very high up on the leaderboards werewolf to start things off and we actually do have a brand new best for the albino i didn't find anything else good during that hunt so we will replace one of our lower scoring albinos if i can find one there's a 246 yeah we'll get rid of that because that one's nothing too special and then we'll also get rid of this 292 female albino and replace it with the brand new 384 and then i'm gonna keep hunting around probably the next few days and try to get a good scoring male gold and uh, if I can't do that, then we'll probably end up taxing like a small female or something just so we can have one in our lodge. Uh, but for now, this is what we're going to end up going with. And I think it looks pretty awesome. Let's uh, get out of there and see what everything looks like in the lodge now. So this is our giant 384.1775. And then across from it over, I believe here, we have our 340. So yeah, that's super awesome. Let's uh, get different poses for them. I'm not exactly sure what's going to go best in each of these. Um, guess we could do it like that and then like that. And we'll, uh, we'll find one of these that we can do that pose on somewhere. I just don't know which one it'll actually fit with. Yeah, it really doesn't fit with any of them to be honest. So we'll just go with uh, some normal poses. But I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss another video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys want me to do some more werewolf hunting before this event is over. We'll probably be doing it on the live streams to try and finish off the mission and also get ourselves some new personal bests for all the different fur types. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!